Welcome back to the Meet the Satellite series. I'm here in front of a life-size model of Jason 3, who will be the subject of our next video. Jason 3, a Copernicus satellite, is the latest in the Jason series of satellites to give us a continuous mission of ocean surface topography and to act as a reference centre as part of the Copernicus programme. Please come with me to take a closer look at the instruments on board Jason 3. The instruments on Jason 3 are similar to those on the Sentinel 3 surface topography mission. There's the Poseidon altimeter, the advanced microwave radiometer, and a suite of instruments that tell us exactly where the satellite is in space. The first instrument, the white dish in the center of the satellite body, is the Poseidon altimeter. The Poseidon altimeter measures the time it takes for a radar to go from the satellite to the surface of the ocean and back again, telling us the height of the sea surface below. Once the Poseidon altimeter has measured the time it takes the signal to return to the satellite, we have to convert this to a distance, which we call a range. To do this, we need to know how fast the signal was traveling in the atmosphere. Two key pieces of information that affect this signal travel time, the amount of liquid water and the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere. The advanced microwave radiometer, the white dish on the top of the satellite body, can give us this information. From an orbit 1,300 kilometers up, Jason 3 gives us sea surface height with a precision of centimetres. In order to do this, we must know precisely where the satellite is at all times. We have three instruments that give us this information. DORIS, the laser retroflector array, and the GPS payload system on the back of the instrument body. These three positional instruments are similar to the instruments on the Sentinel-3 surface topography mission you met previously. Working together, our altimeters can give us invaluable information on ocean currents and ocean physics, give us better ways of controlling our numerical weather prediction models and provide us with more insight into meteorological phenomena like tropical cyclones. This has been the Jason 3 episode of the Meet the Satellite series. Please stay tuned for more.